Hey guys, this is Mary Ann, and I'm back with a new video. Um, I haven't really made any major changes to my Filofax setup. It's still the same as before, and I'm still here on the current Chronodex in the Midori Traveler's Notebook, and it's going to end on September 1. So for September 2 onwards, I designed a two pages per day chronodex. I did a video on that before and I showed that to you guys. But looking at it now, I'm not very happy with it because this is how it is. This is the chronodex. Let me take this away. This is the chronodex that I designed for the two pages per day. On the left side, of the spread you have the chronodex core because like I explained in my video I needed the space for the notations and what the cores or what the shaded parts are for and on here I put some boxes this in this box I will be on this box I will be sorry about that on this box I will be placing my expenses for the day this is where I put down notes and reminders pertaining to my son and this is for when I can list down the locations on my Kindle that I have read for my Proust reading challenge and eight glasses of water a day that I have to do because on the average I only take three glasses of water a day which is very very bad so this is one of the habits that I'm trying to start and here is here are the seven habits. It's actually daily routines that I'm trying to start with. And one of them is drinking eight glasses of water a day. So, and if somebody has a birthday on that day, I just I will just place this here. Now, I've already explained how I did this. I used the vectors that I have purchased from Shutterstock.com. That's why um, the images are very, very clear. But looking at it this way, I'm not really very happy with it because it's kind of too plain and I did not want to use washi tape and stickers because that would take the space of the paper that I need to write on so instead of having more space to write which is the purpose for having two pages per day I will have to give up some of that space for decorative elements and I wasn't really I, I'm not really I didn't really have time to do the sticker and washi tape thing and uh, I don't think that that's my style so I created I designed a new set a new set of two pages per day chronodex and this is how it looks like I still have my color key here on the first page and then when you flip that this is how it looks like now so over here I used a vector to highlight the day because I think that's the most important the, that's one of the most important parts of a diary page you have to um, clearly see what what the day is and coming from here it kind of looked too plain it was highlighted it is very clear what the day is and the font is very readable this is Helvetica new but it was not really very pretty <laughs> and I need my things to be pretty so that I will use it not because I am required to but because I want to so I just used that vector here and to tie the motif together there has to be something at the bottom as well so I put that on here these two came from the same vector set and on here on the left side of the spread you have the chronodex score as usual now on the right side you just have the same elements at the top and at the bottom so they all match and then I have designed a new set of boxes for the things that I have to keep on top of every day and I no longer used to um, I, I did not use words for them instead I used icons and they are still vectors so here you have a shopping cart this is this box is where I will note down all the things that I spent for for the day I don't spend very much because I'm saving up to 
buy a new house so this doesn't occupy much space and this icon stands for my son is a little guy with a bow and arrow that's what my son does and this is where I will note down all the things and reminders that I need that is relevant to him and this little box here with this icon of uh, a little person getting out of bed this is where I will note down my seven daily routines um, I didn't want to peg myself to exactly seven because right now it's not really working out 100% perfectly so I wanted to leave myself room for when I want to tweak that sometime during this year or sometime within the next month I did not want to peg myself at seven so I left that space free and just opened up the box with just one icon to stand for the things that I have to do the things that I need to think about and all the positive affirmations that I have to keep in mind from the moment I wake up to a brand new day and here again is my eight glasses of water a day and this butterfly is just for me to monitor those uh, the medications that I'm taking for hormonal therapy and psychiatric medications um, I don't really write anything much here but just to note down that this is day one of that pill day two of that pill so there this is not really very small um, these are the same size these are even larger the, these are the these boxes are larger than this one well pretty much the same but the boxes are thinner so I can still write on there and um, I no longer put in the box for Proust because I have renegotiated with myself that I absolutely cannot concentrate on Proust this year because I will instead be concentrating my reading on all the literature that I need to read in preparation for my theory for comparative literature that I have to present to my uh, to my professors my program advisors and my dean so there and um, I use the same paper it's the Delta premium ivory paper it's actually very good for fountain pens as well I tried it with all of my nibs and they did not bleed through so that's a good thing I purchased it at National Bookstore it cost about 48 pesos or a little more than a dollar for 50 sheets and then I cut this in half and printed the file from InDesign with crop marks and then I um, asked my printer guy to cut this down using the crop marks as a guide so let's see I hope you like this I hope I've given you quite a few useful ideas for your um, diary pages and I encourage you to start working with vectors by the way vectors do not need to be you don't need to know InDesign or Photoshop to work with vectors you only need Adobe Illustrator to open them but once you have already opened them with Adobe Illustrator you can copy the vector and paste that on Word so um, you don't really need all of those design software all you need is Adobe Illustrator and um, you don't need the top of the line latest version of Adobe Illustrator either you can just purchase um, the the older versions which are cheaper so you can start experimenting if vectors are something that you would like to work with in your crafting in your designing and in your uh, planning life so that's it I just wanted to show this to you guys okay let me know what you think and I'm actually thinking if I am going to make this available on Etsy I'm not really sure I have to check the paper stock if they have enough of these and if my printing guy can do this for me in bulk so those are the things that I have to consider but anyway let me know what you think okay
thank you thank you for watching until next time bye